Okay, now in this next video, what I'm going to demonstrate is how to get the count of elements by their tag name. This is going to be very important before getting into entering and inputting data into a web form field. Now, and let me explain to you what I did and what I worked on for this video. I created a function that will give us the ability to just call one line of code to get then the count by the tag name. Let me show you what I mean really quick. So we're going to navigate to the same website that, we, that we've been working with. The, this is the exact same code. I just copied and pasted it into a command. And what I'm going to do different though is at the very end after the page loads I'm going to do message box and I'm going to place I'm going to call that function get count by tag name and I'm going to pass over the object object IE and I'm going to put under what tag name I'm going to put look for all the, the a tags now I did add one slight I did one thing different in this code I put dim object IE as object before you pass an object over to a function you must declare it as an object and that is something that I overlooked in my previous videos where I didn't declare it as an object I was only doing create object but before create object you want to put dim object IE the name of your object as object and so now we're going to do message box get count by tag name the object and then we're looking for all the a tags so if I hit F5 or play and just this is the command button where I have the code get count we're going to get a notification a message box and that says 93 so there are 93 links in this web page now let's just say I wanted to get all of the form tag names so in this case let me just do a view source so I can show you what I mean and if I look at the source let's say I look at the forms Let's just say I want to get a count of all the forms that are in there because in, in the next video what I'm going to be looking at is the form for entering in a ID number or a name for search. So I'm going to have to look through these forms and in order to do that I'm going to need the count just to make things a little bit easier. So let me see if I get a count of the forms so I can show you what this does. I can just have that A, change it to form, and hit F5. Again, do the get count. And we'll get that there's a total of six forms on this page. They may not all be visible to us, but there are six forms in the code that we'll have to navigate through. So let me show you how I built this code and how this works. Get count by tag name. Here is the code. This code can be a public function where let's say I put it in, into my program module. In this case, I have it embedded into the user form, but I could easily get this code put into my program module. I can put it at the very, very top. And I will still be able to access this code from here. And I'm just going to give you that quick demonstration. Hit get count. And we see it still does the same exact thing. So now, let me explain to you what this code does. First off, to build a function, I have shown that in a previous video, but if this is the only video that you're watching right now, you just do type in function, let's say your function name, and then just do open parentheses, close parentheses, and hit enter, and you'll automatically get an end function. The parameters that we're going to ask for though are object IE as object, and what tag name as string. These values can be whatever you want, but if you were to change this, then you will have to change it in 